morning everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. So I am just about to go around with the girls' second crop bale. I've got to unwrap that first. Um, they are patiently waiting for that, so I will get that done right now. Oop, thank you. So you can actually see what's going on here. actually made me think of something that I wanted to tell you guys um, because this is the wrap that we used last year it's completely green and it's the Titan wrap it's pretty good stuff it's really rugged um, I'll show you I don't know if I said the stuff we used last year was this the stuff we used two years ago was this and the stuff we used last year was this um, I'm, I don't really remember what this is called but I know it's much cheaper than Titan it's the only thing we could get last year because um, the place that usually sells Titan started selling this and that's where we get our stuff and it's really close to here So you'd have to travel quite a ways to get this if you wanted this and it's gonna be a lot more expensive So we thought we'd try this well We think that the problem we've been having with the baler if you guys saw in my previous video It wasn't really cutting the net wrap and it was I think it was because it wasn't cutting it that it was just kept running it into the chamber um, I think it was just too stringy because if you see this stuff like it falls apart and it's so stringy and it's like gummy almost. I don't know how to explain it. It's just really grabby. This stuff right here is just like definite. You can like rip it apart. It's just, it's not as stretchy if that makes any sense. So I think the reason we've been having the problem was is because we had some of this left over so we didn't have a problem at the start of the season. But then when we started using this, I think that is the problem. I think it can't cut this because maybe our knife isn't sharp enough to really cut all these gummy pieces that come off in it so i think that maybe that is the problem so either we're going to get different net wrap or we are going to try to sharpen the knife i'm not sure if you can we might have to buy a new cutter bar i don't know i just thought i'd show you guys that we're pretty sure that's what the problem is is that this is just crappy net wrap so we may be picking up some more titan so my gloves are really cold and i wanted to show you guys how i <laughs> warm my gloves up So I just finished going around with that bale. The girls are enjoying that. It's a really nice second crop bale. Um, they don't seem extremely hungry this morning, but it could be because the weather's been changing so much. It is currently cold here again. It's about nine degrees this morning, so it is a little chilly. Um, but before we get into everything, I figured I would introduce a couple girls to you guys. So this right here is Marlo. Um, I technically introduced her a while ago because we did get her not that long ago. Probably in like October or something, I think is when we got her. She is a heifer. She is bred finally. We think she's about three and a half to four months bred. So she's probably going to get her horns taken off just because she is kind of mean. She does use them on other cows. So we probably are going to get her horns taken off in her this spring uh, before it gets warm because you guys know it's really dangerous to take cows' horns off when it's warm because they can get flies on there and then they can get infected and they can get maggots in it and it's really gross. So we try to do it early spring or sometimes even late winter just so we know that there's no risk of infection there. So poor Marlo's going to lose those beautiful horns. I'm so sorry that my voice keeps cracking you guys. By the way, Marlo is around three and a half, I think, three and a half or four. So that's Marlo, our next lady. Um, so this right here is Rita. We're not really sure if she's a complete jersey or a jersey Holstein cross. Personally, I'd say she's a complete jersey because I have seen many jerseys that look just like her. So she's probably, gosh, she must be over 10 because she's been here as long as I've been here. So she's probably around 10 or 11 years old. Something about her, she wasn't really raised right. Brent got her as a first calf heifer and she was gorgeous, just beautiful. Um, and then she calved and she just went to pot. Like she completely lost all of her body weight, skin and bones, just looked terrible. She looks beautiful when she's around nine months bred and then she's just really, really skinny after that. 
just the way she is, I guess. I really don't think she was brought up right, but she's tough as nails and she just keeps ticking. So now for what we're going to be doing today. So as you guys can see, it's a little bit later than we usually would start milking. Brian just came out with coffee. Um, so I've got to make this quick, but yesterday when I came to work, it was here for about 20 minutes and then Brent came down and he said, you know, that your tire on your truck is flat. And I was like, really? So I went out and looked at it and yes, indeed, my back tire was completely flat. So we were trying to take that off this morning, but it is not cooperating at all. We cannot get it off. We've tried hitting it with a sledgehammer. We've tried um, jacking it up and lifting on it with the skid steer, like underneath the tire, and it just won't come off. So we're gonna have to blow that up and then I'm gonna take it up to the tire place and Brent's gonna give me a ride back just so that they can get that off. They had to take a torch to it last time, so I should have known. So I will show you guys some of milking and some of our morning and just some things that go on around here. But right now, I've gotta go have some coffee and then we'll milk the girls and show you guys some of that. So I did have one other thing that I wanted to show you guys real quick before we started. So I have some of that hydroponic feed here and you guys know Bobby Jo, she's the heifer that calved a while ago. Um, <laughs> she actually didn't like this feed at all at first, but this is about, I don't know, the fifth time she's had it. Um, I actually had to hide it under her hay before because she didn't like it at all. She wouldn't even try it. And then she ate a piece of it accidentally and now she loves it. Not much here. Usually I would split it between two cows, but this is the one that if you guys saw a couple videos back, I said that I let one grow into like a five gallon pail shape. So this is that one. So there's not much there. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys her reaction to that now, since she hated it before. They just absolutely love it now. That's really encouraging. And we can't wait to get into that building because I think they're going to do really well on that. So now I can take a coffee break. milking. Brent is in the milk room cleaning up and finishing everything. I'm about to go around with their wrapped bale which is kind of frozen on the edges because we forgot to bring it in. So you can see it's pretty frozen right there. So that should be a good time. But um, live and learn I guess. We'll remember to take it in if it's gonna give me a hard time for sure. So tried taking off that tire and we just can't get it off so we're just gonna take it up to 
the repair shop Brent was kind enough to offer to give me a ride back. We do need to pump up that tire and then we'll take that over. He does have to stop at the local dairy supply place because unfortunately we do have a cow that stepped on her quarter and she just cut it like a little tiny bit but some cows are funny. She cut it a little bit and then she wouldn't let you milk her so, so she was being really awful and now she's come down with a little bit of mastitis. We are all out of penicillin so we need to go get a box of that so he'll probably pick that up on the way back. So. It's turning out to be a crazy day. I'm gonna feed the girls this, and we'll bet them, and then we'll call it a half a day. So we dropped my truck off earlier, and we came back. I think it's ready, but I'm not sure. Brent went in to check. Um, we did pick up some Dr. Naylor's Utter Balm. We got the, um, I say we like it was even my money. Brent got the penicillin and the Utter Balm, and we also got a couple of needles because we were missing some needles. We got the 18 gauge one. I prefer the 16 gauge because they're bigger, but 18 was the biggest they had, so we got some of those. So now we're gonna head back and probably do a few things and then I'll head home, have some lunch, and then I'll come back here at four o'clock tonight and we'll milk the girls again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, comment down below, keep it real, keep farming, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.